Sports Team Medicine, our electric vehicle team. I work on connected experiences related to charging. So um, the Mustang Mach-E is our most connected vehicle ever. We bring in new experiences that allow customers to take advantage of the electric aspects of their vehicle. But we also have over-the-air updates throughout the vehicle for the first time. So that really opens up the power of connectivity with being able to bring in not just improvements, but new features as well. And then in the vehicle, we have more cloud connectivity than ever to be able to bring in new features with Sync 4A, in particular for our cloud-connected navigation system, bringing in real-time traffic, real-time charge station searches with the status information of chargers, and uh, connectivity uh, with new features in Fort Pass that I'm going to show you here today. Um, so before customers take delivery of their vehicle, we want them to be able to start personalizing their experience and get excited um, about their upcoming delivery. So we developed a feature called Remote Vehicle Setup that allows starting that process of making it your own. So I started setting up a profile here. Uh, I'm going to show you the different aspects you can set up. So I've got um, my name in here. You can bring in a picture which is going to show up as your profile in the vehicle in the Sync 4A system. So I have a picture here, kind of thinking back to different times, hiking in New Zealand, and be reminded of uh, looking forward to that again. So I can put this picture in here, put my name, and that will then show up in the sync system. You can set up your navigation favorites as well. So we have your home address ready to go if you set that up previously in the Ford system. You can add other destinations as well. So if you want to put in family members' addresses that you frequently visit and find charging near any of those locations. So I set it up here with home. I don't really need charging near home because I have a uh, wall box in my garage. But I'm from West Michigan. And if I want to find a charger on the way into town, I can do that. So I'm going to look for a fast charging station in case, I, in case I need to top off on the way in. Looking in Grand Rapids here, there's a charge here that is in the charge point network. Um, it's highly rated by other customers, and there's food nearby. So I'm going to set this up as another favorite, and this will then show up in my Sync 4A navigation system. And so you can put additional dresses in as well if you, if you want to put the gym or... Um, any other location and also find charging nearby. Now to take advantage of uh, some of the all electric capabilities, we have a feature called departure times that allows you to automatically precondition your vehicle according to a set schedule. So your vehicle can be heated or cooled, not just in the cabin, but also the battery uh, before your regular commute times. This allows you to, while you're still plugged in, maximize the range of your vehicle and already have it comfortable while still having a full charge before you leave. So customers can set that up in uh, remote vehicle setup. They can also edit it later in Ford Pass or in the Sync 4A screen. So I've got a few set up here. Um, I've got a morning commute. Um, I've got a, a weekend uh, morning departure time. Um, and then I set up uh, my return home here. Got um, warm temperature. Um, so the car is uh, melting snow and whatnot in the winter, set up for a few days. And then I put it a bit earlier here for uh, Thursday and Friday, getting a little optimistic that we won't have those late meetings once we get back into the office. I can submit this and it's going to download with my profile now. We also have drive experiences. And this goes beyond simple drive modes like sport or eco to really bring a new character to the vehicle. So we have engage, unbridled, and whisper. It changes not just the pedal responsiveness, but the graphics in the instrument cluster in the Sync 4A center screen and uh, the sound experience with the vehicle as well. So customers can choose their drive mode and have it preset uh, when they take delivery of their vehicle, they can find out more about the drive modes. So um, I personally enjoy Unbridled. I love the graphics. I love the sound. Uh, putting that in one pedal 
the car really responds um, and it's a lot of fun to drive. But I got a pregnant wife at home and she doesn't appreciate my driving style at, uh, you know, taking off from, from stoplights and, and having fun with the vehicle. So I'm going to put it on Whisper. So it's a um, still responsive, but a um, less, less aggressive acceleration and deceleration profile. So I can edit these settings. I can come back and, and edit them later again if I want. Um, and then I can save them uh, to the car and it'll be ready to go when I take delivery. The remote vehicle setup is intended before you take delivery of your vehicle to start personalizing it. And we can edit that later. But after you have your vehicle, we can edit the charge settings or these items later on. And I'll show you some more of that. So your phone isn't just remote features. It's also your key with the Mustang Mach-E. So we still provide a key fob so customers have that as a backup. Um, but your phone uh, connects to the vehicle with Bluetooth. And as you approach it, it's going to welcome you by fading up the lights. And at night, it's going to project the Mustang Pony onto the ground next to the vehicle. So without getting your phone out of your pocket, you can walk up to the car and drive away with your phone connecting as your key. And then when you walk away, the vehicle detects that and automatically locks. If customers are worried about their phone running out of charge, we've got them covered there. So we have a door keypad code that customers can set up like many Ford vehicles. We also have a backup start pass code that allows customers to type their password into the Sync 4A screen and drive away. So they can, if their phone dies, they can get in the car, they can start it, throw their phone on the wireless charging pad and be good to go. And they can even set up a passcode for valets as well. So phone is a key, um, allows you to take advantage of these um, additional controls as well. So um, send one to the car here, can lock it or I can open the, uh, the lift gate. And then lock, unlock and uh, remote start. We can do that from anywhere through uh, the modem uh, in the vehicle. So we can remotely precondition just with the touch of a button from the home screen here. These extra commands uh, are using the Bluetooth connection directly to the vehicle. So one of the big transitions going all electric is charging that customers um, have to uh, adapt to and uh, bring into their routine. So we want to make it easy for customers to monitor and manage their charging. So in the Ford Pass home screen, we present the charge level and the estimated range right on the home screen and also add a link to search for nearby charge stations with one touch of a button if you need a quick charge. We can then manage more details as well um, to change uh, settings or to monitor if your vehicle is actively charging. So I'm gonna to switch to, this car's not plugged in right now, so I'm gonna to switch to another car that is plugged in. So when you're charging or plugged in, we have a summary at the bottom here and I can click details and see a lot more information about my charge session. So what's the target level? What's the expected range? How long has it been plugged in? How much range have I added? And I can even change the, the schedule. So if customers have a schedule set up where they're charging during the evening hours to take advantage of off-peak rates with cheaper electricity, well, let's say they need to go somewhere immediately and they want their car to start charging during the day. With just one tap here, we can resume the, uh, the charging and uh, get the charge that we need. Or we can stop charging if the vehicle's, uh, let's say you're charging in public and you're on your way back to your car, um, you can stop charging if you have enough and you'll be back at your car soon. Uh, so this is all at your fingertips so you don't have to go digging through the app to find this information. If you wanna manage um, your charging, the departure times feature is also available in Ford Pass and in Sync 4A, and same with charge scheduling. We can set up that charge schedule to take advantage of the cheaper electricity rates and see other information about the vehicle as well. In addition to charging at home, charging on the road is um, another item that customers have to adjust to when switching to electric. And our research shows that customers uh, are concerned about the availability of charging stations. That's one of the biggest 
inhibitors to making the switch to electric. And we know we have a variety of customers as well, uh, some of whom are just learning about the different types of charging. They haven't done it before. Others who want to get into the details and manage every last aspect of their vehicle. And so we know we need to support both types of customers. And for taking road trips in your Mach-E, um, charging away from home, we manage the where, the when, and the how to charge so that you don't have to worry about those things unless you want to. And we've built a, um, the Ford Pass charging network that allows customers to access multiple different charging networks all through the Ford Pass app. So a lot of electric vehicle drivers today have to carry around cards or apps from multiple different providers. We've strung together multiple partners into one experience in Ford Pass so that our customers don't have to do that. And it's the largest charging network offered by any automaker in North America. So Electrify America, Green Lots, and ChargePoint are some of the networks that customers can access all through Ford Pass. And with uh, Electrify America, we're introducing a new technology to the industry called Plug and Charge that allows customers to securely pay for their charging by just plugging in and walking away. So it's even easier than the gas experience. So the Ford Pass charging network um, is provided with uh, complimentary access to pay-as-you-go charging for two years. And we also provide 250 kilowatt hours of charging at Electrify America. So a few fast charging events, the customer can get that experience and that's included with their vehicle. So every Mach-E comes with a dual voltage charging cord set that allows you to charge on a standard wall outlet for those situations where you need to top off or maybe you're visiting family and they don't have a charge station. So you can still charge your vehicle on any standard outlet, but it also, comes with a 240 volt connector similar to um, like a dryer. This is like a dryer plug or an RV plug. So you can charge your vehicle at a um, overnight speed with the charging cord that comes with the vehicle. And these are interchangeable. We also offer a higher power connected charge station that's installed in the customer's garage and provides the fastest possible overnight charging speed for our customers and comes with additional connected features as well. Right, for, for those who aren't familiar with EV vehicles or electric vehicles, can you show the actual plug that plugs into the car? Absolutely, so this is a standard uh, charge connector here. So this is what you would see on any kind of home charger or on uh, public stations. There's another type of charging plug that uses the same port on the vehicle but add some additional pins for more power for DC fast charging and so um, the same port on the vehicle provides both types of charging and with the cord that comes with the vehicle we can charge at home any wall outlet we can charge overnight with the 240 volt or we can go to a DC fast charging station on the Ford Pass charging network and charge uh, 61 miles in 10 minutes. Wow. So even if you were low on the road, the fear of you're going to be stranded is, as long as you can get to an electrical outlet, you're going to be okay. You always have a backup with an electrical outlet. That's right. The type of charger might be different in different circumstances. Sometimes you just need to find the closest charger period. Other times you might want a fast charger or one that's available right now. So within Ford Pass, customers can search for charging, and we have filters that allow you to find those details. So if you want to find a fast charger, or you want one that's confirmed available now, so that um, the customer doesn't show up only to find that someone's already charging there, they can do that, or finding within the Ford Pass uh, charging network as well. Those same options are available in the Sync 4A connected navigation system as well, um, to, to see that real-time status of the chargers. So I can look nearby. There's an Electrify America station a couple miles from here, uh, here in Ypsilanti. So I can see the details of this station. It's plug and charge compatible. Uh, there are, all of the stations are available right now. Um, and then we can see other information like 
feedback from other customers, what their experience was at this site, a rating, pictures to help find where it is or maybe see what's nearby, and then amenities so we can see that there's a restroom, there's dining and shopping available at this location. And then if I want to activate the charger, I can see which port I plugged into, activate it in the app, and then the charger will immediately be available to, to plug into the customer for the customer build their account through Ford. Um, and at this site, um, since it's plug and charge compatible, the customer could simply plug in and walk away and not even have to get their phone out at all. We have a trip planning experience that we call Power My Trip. This is available in the Sync 4A system by simply putting in any destination. And if you need to charge to get there, we will recommend a charging stop and a charging time that allows you to get to your destination. But if you wanna see before maybe you get to your vehicle what a trip would be like, um, so let's say, um, want to visit some friends in New York and my wife is maybe hesitant about making that long of a drive in electric vehicle and all the stops that it's going to involve. I can plug that in to power my trip and using the vehicle's current range and battery information, the same cloud system that powers the in-vehicle connected navigation is going to present the trip uh, in the Ford Pass app as well. And so we can see what does a trip look like in my individual vehicle based on current traffic and my vehicle's conditions. So this trip to New York is about 10 hours of driving and two hours of charging, just three stops. With um, my pregnant wife, I'll be probably lucky to only have those three stops uh, along the way. So this actually is not bad for such a long drive. It really is uh, pleasant in uh, a Mustang Mach E, this is when I'd be ready to stop anyways. I can see the chargers that were added, the recommended charge time. So for example, about 30 minutes to charge up to 60% at an Electrify America station in Pennsylvania. And I can see all the details again of each of these locations that were added. Uh, if I um, want to charge at a particular site, maybe there's a restaurant that I wanna stop at for dinner on the way, I can change the charge station and pick my own. So I have that power to customize my trip or I can just follow the recommendations. And that same capability is available in the vehicle as well. So our, our customers really have the power to customize every detail they'd like. And when I save this to the vehicle, it's immediately available in the Sync 4A uh, connected navigation system. Ford Pass charging network, uh, customers simply put in their destination um, drive to that charge station and then they can charge through the Ford Pass app if it's part of the Ford Pass charging network. The Sync 4A connected navigation system is available with a complimentary three-year trial for customers. And they still have navigation for the life of the vehicle just without the connected capabilities such as the real-time traffic and cloud-based routing um, if they choose not to extend the service. The remote features in Ford Pass are available for the, the life of the vehicle and the, the 4G cellular network. Um, so customers can use phone as a key and the remote uh, management of their vehicle, monitoring charge status through Ford Pass um, for the, the life of the vehicle and the cellular network. Uh, so with these capabilities, the customer can really manage charging at home, charging on the road, and get the most out of their vehicle and all of the, the connected uh, data flowing off of it.